Hi everyone, I'm Tuning Cats. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make the expanding effect. Let's get right into it. So we're going to make a new level once again. So I'm going to right here expanding effect and then we can start. Don't do anything here. Just leave it as it needs to be. So we're going to use these objects right here. So we're going to have four objects right here. Now select each one of them and apply a different group to each other. So they can move to the places where they need to. Now we just put them in one place and it should look like this now. Now remember the groups that we had. If you can't remember, then just select the whole thing, add a group, and then you can see the groups that you have. So we have one, two, three, and four. Now what are we gonna do is add move triggers now. So we're gonna select one group. And now to make the expanding effect, there's a little bit of mathematics here. So one object will go up by 10 blocks and then well 10 blocks up and 10 blocks to the right and then the second block will move 10 blocks up and then 10 blocks to the left with the second group but there is a problem there's gonna be a gap as you can see so how to fix that we will divide these numbers by 2 we're in half so right here it was minus 10 and it's gonna be minus 5 and right here is gonna be 5 and then right here will be also 5 and also here and now there shouldn't be a gap in between as you can see now we will do with the other groups so basically group ID 3 it's gonna move to the left, but this time it's gonna move also down by half a block. Copy this, and then here it's gonna move to the right. And now it should look like this. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. Wait. So this goes up to the right. This goes up to the left. This goes down to the left. And then this goes down. Oh. Remember. Each move trigger has a different group. Remember that. And now it should look like this. It expanded. Now what you can do. Is basically select the whole thing. And make it into a one group. We're going to add another move trigger. Which is going to lock to player X. All the way through I'm gonna just apply 10 seconds group ID 5 so we're gonna move somewhere like here now we want the blocks to go back inside as well how to do that make opposite of these numbers well type the opposite of those numbers so it was 5 here and it's gonna be minus 5 And then do to all of them. So here it was negative, then it's going to be positive, and this was positive, then it's going to be negative. And this was negative, so this is going to be positive, and the same here. Well, you understand. Just make it negative, it was positive. If it was positive, then make it negative. And now it should look like this. Saw that? It expanded and then shrunk. At the end, this is the expanding effect. But we can also add easing to it. So basically, we're gonna add here sign in and out. And then maybe here we will do an exponential in and out. And then it will look completely different by the movement. See? When it expanded, it was like slowly. But surely when it expanded, but at the end it just shrunk instantly, like almost instantly. And that's basically it. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful, like and also subscribe to my channel. 
and see you in another video. Bye!